Hello everybody, this is Arathos and welcome to what could potentially be a new series for the channel. The uh, game is called Far Lone Sales and I picked it up because I really, really like the art style. And I don't really know much about the gameplay, in fact I didn't even know there was a part like this where you could walk around out, you know, like this. Uh, from what I saw, you were basically piloting a land ship, it's basically this ship with uh, this car type device with sails or train or whatever you want to call it that you navigate across from what the description said a dried out seabed or ocean bed in some kind of post-apocalyptic world so the setting kind of intrigued me the art style intrigues me so let's give it a try and by the end of the episode if you guys do want to see it turn into a full series and i actually enjoyed the game then yeah, let's please, by all means, tell me in the comments if you would like to see it continue. And it might continue simply if I enjoy the game as well. So let's see how it goes, shall we? I like these side-scrolling games with, the, with this type of art style. I always have. Uh, is there a reason we just knocked that off? Interesting. Can I put it back? Or do I just carry the damn thing now? If this is my house, it's really weird that I have to jump to get into it. What the hell? Okay, C zooms out. What the fuck am I... Okay. Sure. Yeah, there's that locomotive thing that I was mentioning up there. Is there anything to be had up here? Uh, so this is my bedroom, apparently. Oh shit, why didn't you tell me I could zoom in sooner? I'll just throw that down there and pick it up later. Wow, yeah, look at the background. That is a desolate town. I wonder if there's anything alive back there. Interesting. Intrigued? And why does your house have so much shit that you have to jump to get on top of? So I'm assuming this over here, just before we move on, is like our character's father? You know, assuming we're human, our character's father just passed away. Then again, it might be our creator. For all we know, we might not be a kid. We might actually just be some kind of clone or robot or whatever yes i've seen a lot of anime so what because <laughs> that does seem like the premise of an anime right you basically you know the main character is a clone or a robot or an android or a cyborg or some shit after you know that is left in their world to find left in the world to find their own way after their creator dies oh shit i didn't come out here hell i'd watch it all right what's down here so that's how we get over okay so some light platforming i pick that up i can pick that up why is this a thing you know what? i'm gonna take the suitcase why not bag suitcase whatever and you know we'll push this who knows you never know when you might need a mailbox I can't really do anything else with whatever I'm carrying. I can pick it up and I can drop it. Alright. Yeah, dried out. I believe we've come to the dried out ocean or seabed. Everything fades in the background. I can't go into the background. I tried to see if there's like a branching path. No controls let me do that. A little bit of water, that's encouraging. The fuck? Hmm. Ah, there it is. That's what I was talking about for the locomotive. What the fuck is all this? Is 
does everything in here do something or this is cool ah no energy okay do I have to hit the steam button okay we got no power and this is the ramp to go out the front well you know what I'm gonna start the hoarding process I'm gonna leave this suitcase in here it looks like we have a cargo or not aha cargo <laughs> And that one thing was a very bright and shiny. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't think we need the mailbox. I think it was just a little command to tell me how to actually control this. Uh, all right, let's go up here. What's over here? These are plans. It's our bedroom. It looks like dreams of a normal sailboat. Hey, thank you. Fix the chair. A really good looking game, I gotta say. What's this over here? I'm just trying to hit all the buttons. Maybe I need to close all the hatches. That's like a winch, isn't it? Let's go to the roof. Hmm. I really hope there's not falling damage. No! Our dude just kind of floats down. Interesting. I didn't do anything over here. It's telling me to do something here. Or there's an arrow there. Okay. Whatever. So how do I fill up the energy then? Do I need to pull down on these? Yeah, game isn't giving us much to work with. What the fuck? There is a rope right here. It would be really weird if I had to connect it like this. Ah, okay. So yeah, I can grab all those. Do I need to... No. Alright. This over here seems to be how you would generate... Power. Oh. oh, so we're going to have to keep fueled. I see. Okay, does this mean I can go now? What does the steam do? Nothing. Let's go. just keep going until we get to our destination or what okay that is cool as hell it's not moving anymore is that what I need to do is I just need to keep this pushed in Oh, and maintain the steam, okay. I really hope there is a destination fairly close. Hey, 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 keep going. And nobody told you to stop. There we go. 
until it locks in place. Okay, that's a break. I should not have used that. There we go. Uh, what's that now? Uh, we are out of fuel already. It looks like we have a spare crate, though. Can we use anything for fuel? Like, if I just put that there. Damn, we can. I should have picked up the mailbox and kept it. Hell, yeah, live and learn. Full speed ahead, motherfuckers. Let's go. Hey, in the artwork, I could swear this thing had a sail. Stop. What the hell's wrong with you? Keep going. I want to take in the view. Oh, shit. Alright. I do like what I'm seeing, so... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Break. Fuel, damn it. I want that one now. Where the hell did you just throw that? Just need a few more. Am I going to have to go out the back door to pick up the other one? That's fine. Just lower a few of those down there. I like it. If you were to ask me exactly why I like it, I couldn't tell you beyond the artwork. I really think the artwork is nice, is the main reason. No, no, no. Don't put that on the platform. I don't want to overfuel, because I get the feeling if we overfuel, we just waste fuel. And I would rather not waste that. So I can walk under, it just didn't let me a second ago. All right, cool. Well, let's put a little bit more fuel in there. Let's go over here and forward. And honestly, I could not tell you what the purpose of this game is. I don't know if we're on a journey to just explore, or what? I have no clue. Might just be one of those, um, you know, interpret it however you see fit, kind of like Journey or something. Also, I feel like volume could do with being a little bit lower. Right? settings again. Nah, I don't feel like changing anything. Everything looks good. Alright. I hadn't looked at the options before, except to fiddle around with the resolution, so... Make it up the hill! Move, you big bastard, move! Does that take us halfway? Cool. Take the other one. Damn it. I wonder if you could accidentally feed yourself into the engine. That would be. We are backtracking. No more backtracking. Forward, you bitch. Forward. Ooh. Get ready to hit the brakes, actually. Alright. Ah. 
Can I just put some here, actually? Honestly, I don't remember how that other one attached. Not that it matters. Let's load up on fuel for the rest of the journey, whatever the hell this journey actually is. We'll leave one on the platform. Nope, doesn't do shit. I imagine that's for obstacles. We have one on the back, too. Interesting. Okay, and that retracts. I don't see a retraction one on the back, but hey, whatever. It's a rather creepy environment, but then again, it being a post-apocalyptic one would make sense. Yeah, no, I like this. Oh, we're coming up on some water. You know, actually, I could store fuel up there. I don't mind. But for now... Hey. I also don't like that our little world-wide adventure here, we just have an open bay door at the back. That does not seem very safe. Into the water. on. Game auto save. Stop. What? Pray tell is that We're already running out of storage room. Yeah, I mean, let's just do this. Gonna need to do two at a time anyway. The hell is this? I mean, that looks like fuel too, doesn't it? I think we're just gonna put some up here. Oh, wow, that's probably where I should start keeping a lot of it. Right. I don't want to fill it up yet. And I would really like the game to tell me how to... Okay, that's even better. We can actually use the storage hooks. So basically, not that. Jump, uh, God damn it! Jump in V, there we go. I, you would imagine it would just hook on its own, it doesn't. Forward, take off the brake. Seems like the fuel doesn't last very long, or at least the st before the steam needs to be... Oh, shit. No wonder it gave us so much fuel. We're gonna be struggling to get up this incline. Keep it fueled. Feel this thing struggle. Would you be spitting like you're about to fall apart? Nope. Keep the speed up. Is there a giant wall over here? Oh shit. What the hell happened here? Oh shit. Break! Break! 
Now I can actually hear like storm or something. Interesting. Wait, I can't get under there now? Don't you be telling me that. Uh, you will give me that fuel. I think I'm gonna have to go out the back. Provided we don't destroy it right now. Okay. That's why. That's the actual brake system. Alright, cool, cool. Come on. Get in there, you bastard. It's a gorgeous game, regardless. I know some people are getting sick of this particular art style. I mean, it is pretty common at this point. But I like it. So long. I mean, our dude even kind of looks like a mini journey guy, huh? Wonder if there's gonna be one of those gate. <coughs> Jesus. This is gonna be one of those games where it's basically like there is story, you but it's open to interpretation. You gotta find it yourself. go exploring now. Let's get up in here. What's this? Can I pick it up? Can I go in here? Ooh, it's the sail. Attach that thing. Yeah, back when this was a vibrant port town. Now everything's dried out. Yeah, I would like to learn more about whatever apocalypse happened here. But I do not know if... Why the hell can I just go down that way? But I do not know if we will ever get that information. Ah, oh, this seems like a childhood thing that we would want to keep, right? customize our shit. Well, you know what? Let's leave our engine off for now. Let's see what wind power can do for us. Oh, that is awesome looking. Holy shit. Like, do they eventually turn, like, fold back in on themselves, on their own? No! Keep it up. I think when we have wind, we just save our electricity, our fuel. I mean, we go faster with the fuel, but I get the feeling we're gonna run into situations where there's very little. Oh, damn. Also gotta say, I like the music. That is an, uh, wow. That's all I can say is, wow, look at this shit. Please move, birds. I don't want to run you over. I'm sorry, is that, an, is that a speed bump way the fuck out here? Nah, it actually looks like some type of mast or something, but still. What would be really cool is using the wind power would actually recharge the engine. Then again, we don't know what time period, who knows what the technology was like, we don't know what time period this apocalypse hits. I mean, hell, there's a bus. Which is in the background. I'm pretty sure I can't interact with that in any way. God damn, this is pretty. You know, and I do like those games where, you know, the lore is in the game, but you have to discover it yourself. Like, you know, the Dark Souls games and, like, Salt and Sanctuary. I really like that. It's like the game didn't just throw the lore at you, but it was there if you paid attention. Damn. There 
is something deeply unsettling about that scale there. I mean, I know that's normal for tankers to be quite that big, but still, holy... Well, not tankers, uh, cargo ships. But holy shit. Are we just going to plow through this building? Ship, actually. Uh, yes. The game says yes. Honestly, say I did not mean to do that. I wanted to come explore. Ooh. Junk. Yeah, we're good, basically going to be a junk collector at this point. I'm okay with that. I really hope there isn't a damage mechanic to this game because. Did we just save a traffic cone? Ooh, there's all kinds of shit over here, too. I mean, apparently our character's quite good at recycling, because fucking hell, we can apparently put anything we want into this damn engine. Watch. Suitcase. <laughs> okay, so I see what we gotta do. There's a button over there we have to press to get rid of this shit. Can I attach that big-ass... That big ass screw there to the back of our ship. That would be fantastic. Oh, there, that isn't a big ass opening there, huh? Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna salvage everything. You never know when we're gonna be like dead in the water, as it were. Holy shit, I did not realize that we were over some kind of trench. Yeah, give me the bell. I kind of feel bad about ramming it now, as this bridge may not be here much longer. Damn it. Jumping mechanic is more me than the game, I think. Like the issues you're seeing me having have with the jumping. That's more me than anything else. Let's put the bell up. Why not, right? I feel like that should go on the top somewhere, but I have no means by which to do that. I'm going to put some of the junk we found on the platform. Then we'll go hit the button. This is intriguing, though. That way we can refuel easily and on the fly. Nothing down there. Well, shall we scout ahead just a little bit? What does that sign say? Oh, harbor. Jesus, we're not out of the harbor yet? Ah! Don't be doing shit like that. Alright, we still have plenty of... Good God. That was it hitting the bottom. Sails up, let's get the fuck off this rickety thing. That was a bit unsettling, I gotta say. I like that I can stay up here and just run the sails like this. Because it actually lets me see the landscape. And I can see some of the reasons we'd need the engine. We would need the engine for... That's a stop sign. Going uphill. Like some of those steep inclines, I really don't think the sails would get us up there. What's up? Plow right on through.
these little rickety ass bridges. Not gonna lie, make me nervous. Eesh. That is an awesome and disturbing sight. Don't be trying to push me off the sails, you bastards. I wonder if in addition to power, there's a limit to what the sails can do. Like, eventually they start tearing and you have to repair them. Brakes. Thank you. More fuel. I've been taking it easy on the fuel, so... <laughs> we are developing a surplus of fuel. So, yeah. Now, this is definitely... I've already made up my mind. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, yeah, still tell me in the comments below and whatever. And like, comment, whatever. For <laughs> whether you like the game or not. But And whether you want me to play it some more. Because, uh, you know, your feedback is important. But I'm actually enjoying the hell out of this game. So, there's a very good chance I am going to continue playing it as a full series. Holy shit. Oh, I need to keep it. I need to keep it pushed down, huh? Or not. Oh. I need to fuel it. Those generators are everywhere, apparently. Is that sufficient to get us across? Oh. I need to lower it's what I need to do. Okay. I think the game will let me go across now. Uh, not with sails, though. Steam power. Uh, too fast, too fast. There we go. So now, yeah, I legitimately need to go back, go down, and then get into that room. Okay. That is doable. So yeah, it looks like society, the apocalypse has been passed enough, whatever apocalypse. Hey. Okay. Is the path forward open now, or yeah, I guess it would be. All right, continue. For whatever reason, I thought you had to raise it up, but no, we're actually across. I don't know. There's no reason to backtrack. Can I salvage that engine? That's down there. And am I the only person left? Has the apocalypse been? Because that's so long ago that everybody is dead. Like, did our little town or whatever go extinct? And what is this counter? I... I don't think I've gone 300 miles. Ah, yes, there's no wind right now. Yeah, 
That is a dead calm. Break! I am scrounging, okay? <laughs> Let's not interfere with the scrounging. So basically, it seems like a good idea to actually let the steam build up a bit. I mean, it seems like it'd be dangerous, but... It's a quick burst of speed. Refuel. Oh, the wind's actually pushing away from where oh shit 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 that's a that's a piece of fuel son of a bitch just get slightly past it so i can retrieve that okay cool you actually dive out of the vehicle while it's moving well that changes a lot oh i almost got crushed Another game this reminds me of? It reminds me of The Station. Damn. Well, I can't get that. Yeah, see, look at that storm. I think it was called The Station, where you were running a... Basically same... Ooh, I don't like that shit. Where you were basically running a locomotive in, like, some weird alien invasion scenario. Or after an alien invasion, I think. Well, I guess we're gonna hunker down here for a minute, because whatever that's hap whatever's happening now seems horrifying. Maybe our dude wants to take a nap. All right, little dude, move that ship. We've left the harbor. We are on the way to the coast. rain. Uh, hurricane strength rain, apparently. I wonder if this is when it's a good idea, like, if there's scenarios, like, is this a story? Thing with this storm that we're getting right now or is it a scenario where we should just be hunkering down for the night until the storm passes Dude. keep moving getting plenty of fuel here. And I love all the little storage racks. Let's see, will the storm kill me? Nah, the storm doesn't do shit to me. I also feel like some of this fuel is going to be necessary to open passages later on. Ah, that's the name of the game I was looking for. Sorry, the final station. Where you were... You know, you would there were like these weird zombie alien things that you had to kill at the stations to unlock the... Uh, tr the track so you could continue on your journey. That was a fun game. Also kind of weird with the lore. Now I'm curious if it's the same developers. 
Nope, push forward. What? Uh, what am I doing? Oh! Firefighting! We got hit by lightning. Storm, buddy. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, good lord. I imagine that's also a risk you have if you're trying to run the sails. Like, through a storm like that. And break. Actually timing that quite well now. I do find it weird that there's random boxes of fuel, but then again, I don't know that this actually says fuel, does it? Well, let me drop this. Maybe it's just where re any old garbage we can recycle. I'm kind of leaning towards that being the case. I can't make out what that says, but apparently there was a lot of it at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that is gorgeous. I know I'm saying that a lot. I'm aware. But it's because it is gorgeous. <laughs> ah, damn. All credit to the devs on that. This is a. I'm, I'm quite pleased. Enjoying the hell out of this so far. Come on. All wood. I wonder if there's going to be, like, pirate raids and stuff later. Or, again, if we are legitimately all that's left. And what's with the sparks? Is there anything I can do about that? We just chug it away. I'm wondering what would happen if I put up the... Oh, no. The system is... The system is damaged. Like, I actually cannot put... I can't even touch the sails. Yeah, now our ship is taken... Taken a beating by that storm. Good God. Yeah, I wonder if they are going to introduce me to a repair mechanic. Because, yeah, I don't... Oh, shit. Break. Damn it. Please just rest on top of the box. Thank you. Apparently we had to stop anyway. Cool. I'll put this over here. Let's go see what's going on over here. Little dude got a flashlight. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we need to get closer so I can actually climb in there from the top of our ship. Interesting little society we have here. Okay, just ram it. I mean, we don't actually have to ram it. I can jump on my sails. Dude, you need a flashlight. I'm going to leave that there for now. I am not going to leave that there for now. next part of our ship. Awesome, awesome. Is this more fuel for said ship? Oh no. I 
Oh, does it not have enough fuel to complete the process? Okay, cool. I'll do it again. Okay, that was not the case at all. I can no longer go that way. All right. Do I just stand on that? Hope it goes the rest of the way. I'm actually going to set this right here. Oh, there is a repair tool. That's the repair tool. Hey guys, give me a second. I'm coming down. Oh, did I just lose all the fuel that was in there? Nope, but it is a much smaller storage cubby. We're just going to glide out of here real quick, and then I'm going to use the storage, uh, the repair tool. And apparently all this excess energy, I'm actually going to need to put somewhere else. Maybe over here? Uh, no. You are just... Hey! Stop spraying water all over my damn base. Unnecessary. Put all this in my bedroom. I wonder if the repair tool is going to require fuel. Or if it's just, they're just like, ah, it's got its own self-contained fuel source. Don't even worry about it. God, wouldn't that be nice? Pretty sure that's, the game's not going to be that nice. But you never know. Well, so far the energy is not being... consumed okay. that still looks broken to me it was cool there's still no wind though so let's go was a weird sound. What's going on? What nonsense awaits me out here? I'm guessing a lot. Keeping an eye on the wind and an eye on more, uh, okay, on more fuel sources. Okay, so the barrel is a double, is a full recharge. I kind of figured. Huh. Come on, wind power. Let's get that fully charged. Yeah, I wonder what the end destination is. Just gotta make sure that pin stays in so our ship doesn't start slowing down randomly. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Break! <laughs> Did not mean to just almost plow right through. I mean, we have to. works. I like how we have a pseudo cargo room over here. Interesting. What the hell is this? A junkyard in what used to be the ocean bed? What the fuck is even going on?
pretty sure we're gonna have to stop in a second. There's gonna be shit here to do. Yeah, so we have to hit that button over there. Well, our ship is a little out of fuel at the moment. So we're gonna refuel just to prepare. Deeply disturbing noises. Wait, how far up are you taking me? Ooh. Way the hell up. Well, you know I'm I'm taking that, right? Uh, no, I don't like this. Nothing. That's it? Just music? Okay. And the gate opens when I play them? What? Now here's a question, is there any way to turn that off? Or is it going to be following me for the duration? Or is that just because of the giant fucking speakers right there? Get me away from it! Okay, it's getting a little quieter. Come on. Yeah, it's like, it's exactly like the final station. There's a lot of micromanagement of the ship to do, or the locomotive, or... I don't know, you can call this whatever you want. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Frick! We got wind! Put up them sails. Alright, well. As weird as this game is, and the fact that we don't really know what the bloody hell is going on, I do really like it. There's something about this game that really appeals to me. So, we are going to continue playing this game as a series on the channel and try to figure out what the bloody hell is going on and what the goal of the game is. But with this, though, I am all out of time for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that... I'll see you guys next time for some more far loan sales, which every time I say far, I want to say cry. But I'll see you guys next time for some far loan sales where we try to make some sense of this world and just see some more fantastic backgrounds and shit like this. Because, yeah, this is gorgeous. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys.